Good morning. We're standing here today at the beautiful Dima King Nature Reserve with wildlife all around us. And we're standing at this beautiful lodge. The zebras come down. We've had impala this morning, wildebeest. And we're standing at this beautiful bush log called Chameleon Bush Lodge. It's a big five nature reserve and we've come here for a property mastermind. There's about eight of us and we get together once in a while um, and spend a whole weekend just talking about property, what's happening, where are we going? Uh, we needed a place that would allow for some COVID compliance. So we thought out here, middle of nowhere, big, huge table. You know, we've got our meter or two meters apart at least. Um, so we're still able to adapt and, and pivot during these hard times. There was a question I posted on the Facebook uh, page the other day and it was around companies and how do you buy a company in a, or property in a company? And the short reality of it is, it's no difference from buying into your own name. And so there's multiple ways of having multiple structures set up. You can have trust, you can have companies, you can have companies own, own other companies. But I want to talk to you quickly around my personal way I've done it. I've got a trust which owns my company and then that's how I'll go into my partnerships with um, and that then buys the property. And so what you will basically do is you're going to submit your offer to purchase to the, the um, seller. Please always use your own OTP. I've spoken about a number of times now why you want to use your own OTP and not an agent's OTP. Um, go check out a couple other links where I've actually made videos and courses on using your own OTP and what they should have. But when you submit that offer to purchase at OTP, make sure you put in there. So for example, it'll be my name. It'll be Michael Bone as director of a company to be formed. And the reason I do that is the company may not be formed yet. Um, I don't want to open up a company and start paying all the costs that a company has before I've even had a property put into it. So I put it as Michael Bowen, director of company A, for example. That is what is on the OTP. That OTP then gets signed and it gets sent through to the um, mortgage originator who will then go out and actually find me some some finance and, as well as the conveyances. And the reason why I have my trust own the company which owns the property is it's a way of protecting against um, creditors so if anybody ever comes after me in my personal name there's nothing that is really my personal name apart from a debt which stands in the company name and they want to go and go after a warm body but the owner of the company is a trust and you you can't own a trust you can only administer a trust and so there isn't that kind of ownership line so it gives me a bit of asset protection but the biggest one of why buying inside of a company is the ability to hide in essence um, and ensure that I always have my affordability. So for example, I'll just use round, round numbers. If I can afford 1 million rand in my personal name, so I go to the likes of uh, Uber for example and I do a, a bond affordability and it says I can afford a million rand. Um, if I buy my own personal name, the first time I buy for a million rand, it's done. The banks don't want to lend me any more. They said you can afford a million and that's it. National Credit Act ensures that. When I'm buying a company, depending on how I've set it up, I can actually make that company outside of the National Credit Act and not have to apply to the laws. So that is inbuilt because they're saying, okay, if you buy in your personal capacity, you're probably just an average person and they need to protect the average person. Whereas if you buy in a company, you're probably a professional, um, in which case you know what you're doing. So I can then buy in a company A for a million rand property. I can then go next week and form company B and buy another comp up property also for a million rand. And then I can go the week after and I can start company C, which owns property C. And each time I can always get that million rand affordability just on going back and forth. Uh, there will come a point in time where they may say, actually, hang on, you've now got done this too many times and you're too many directors of it. Um, at which point then you just change your bank. Um, so as opposed to going to apps the first time, you start off with Standard Bank and you see what they will give you. Um, they will give 100% loans in Standard Bank and the same as FMB starting to do 100% loans as well. So there's no reason then to start it all over again and say Company D is financed 100% through FNB. Um, company E, again, a million rand financed through um, Standard Bank, whoever it's going to be. And that in essence is how you buy a property in a company name. Um, like I say, you will always have to stand personal surety on it, but you can then stand personal surety a number of times. I hope this has all helped you um, and looking forward to having the next chat. Cheers.